Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This is Car Connections. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and share this video. Two things you should never do with your ride for sure. Number one, if you are not going to wash your car by hand, okay, if you are not going to wash your car by hand, please don't be that guy that takes your car to the car wash. Don't do that. You're going to ruin your paint, guys. Just think about all the other cars that have gone through that car wash where their car or truck was looking like shit. What do I mean by that? Especially here in Texas, and there might be some areas around you guys where people like their big ass trucks here in Texas and they will take the muddy, like up to the gills, no joke, no kidding. And what these guys will do sometimes is they'll take their car to the car wash, right? Looking like shit. The truck, I mean, is looking like shit. I mean, it's full of dirt. And when I say dirt, like it's full of mud, and they put them through these car washes with the bristles. Where do you think that dirt goes, guys? You think all the dirt just comes off the bristles? You think they just magically disappear? Hell no, nah, man. What's wrong with you? And here you come along after the car's done. You don't see the truck, right? Because maybe two, three hours later, you show up. Those bristles are gonna scratch the shit out of your car. I mean, you're gonna end up with a really bad paint job. And if you do this consistently enough, over time, look at, you'll know, you'll know who are guys that own these badass cars, but that put their cars to these machines. And you'll be able to tell their, by their paint, literally within 30 days to 60 days, just look at their paint. I mean, it looks like somebody came through there with sandpaper and scraped the paint all up. Dude, don't, don't do that. Why would you do that to your car? You spent all this money just to have somebody mess up your paint. Don't do that. Number two is don't, well, I better take this back a little bit because some, some laws are different by state, but, but don't screw on a front license plate, man, on your ride on the front. It ruins the entire look of the car, man. Why are you gonna put holes on the front license plate? Why not put it on top of your windshield maybe or something, I don't know. But don't be that guy. Going a little bit back to the car wash. Either wash it by hand, or if you are gonna take it to the car wash, right? Bring your bucket, right? With your tools so you can fill it up and maybe you do use the washer to spray down, not the automatic. You don't wanna go through the automatic. These are the ones, the old school ones where you park in and it has the bristle. Don't use the bristle. Just use the power washer to clean it out and then use the bucket you brought along to wash the car. Now, a little bit about to say about the car wash. There is a car wash that Car Connections will allow you to use. There's only one. And that is a touchless car wash. The reason you want to do touchless, because it's exactly as the name describes, it's touchless. What that basically means is, it's just a bar that goes around your car. It doesn't touch the car. Again, there's no bristles, right? It doesn't touch the car and it's touchless and it just, it, it leaves like the soapy water sitting on the car for a little bit and then it comes with high pressure water on it and it leaves the car clean. Now there's a caveat to this. That does not clean your car as well as say a hand wash, okay? It doesn't. The only way it'll leave your car clean is if you're consistent with your washes, right? So if you're constantly washing your car by hand and you need to go have it like say a touch up done to clean your car, right? Just a quick touch up, then you can put it through these touchless car washes then in that situation you know it will work all right so i'm here at the car wash this is where you can take your car this is a touchless car wash all right for you guys that don't know that's a touchless car wash right there notice there's no bristles see that that is touchless high pressure soap high pressure water 
No bristles touching the car. That's what you need. And then these little canisters here on each side, guys, is not designed for you to wash your car with it, pre-wash it before you go over there. That's designed to clean your wheels before you put it into the pre-wash. Don't be the guy that uses that to wash your entire car before you put it in there. So for those that need to know, this is what you should be looking for if you don't want to hand wash, you don't want to put it on the other one that has those blue or big ass bristles on each side, it's going to ruin your paint, guys. Trust me. If you've been, you know, you've had a lot of rain and there's a lot of mud on your car and you want to push it through this touchless car wash, it's not going to leave it that great. Will it leave it cleaner? Yes. It'll leave it cleaner, but it won't leave it like what you think, you know, you would want it to be because touchless car washes don't remove all that grind that can get stuck on your ride, okay? Touchless car wash is more of an upkeep. It's you keep your wash, your car constantly clean, and you're just taking it to this place to give it a quick touch up to kind of clean it up a little. There's not a lot of dirt or mildew stuff stuck on the car already, and it's just water, high pressure water designed to clean it, and you know, there's not a lot of shit stuck into it. What a touchless car wash is, right? So the water's coming from the bottom, no bristles, guys. Yeah, this is what you want to be doing right here. See that? Just pressurized water. Don't let those damn bristles touch your ride. You're gonna ruin it. See that bar? That's the only thing that should be dropping any type of water or soap on your car. So, I just wanted to post this video, guys, because I, I see a bunch of cats out here, one, getting out these brand new cars and putting their cars to these car washes that are full of shit. And then they also drill holes in their front license plate. I don't get it. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and make sure you share car connections. Stay safe. Peace.